Okay, necklace, do your thing. Um, hate books, for one. Uh, okay, that's a lie. I love books because, like, I can't stop reading them. But, like, they annoy me because, like, they get sad and then they ask questions that you can't answer yourself. And you're just grateful that the character is going through this situation, not you, because you would know what to do. <laughs> like, I think the reason why sometimes books get to me is because you can relate to the character so much that you feel like you're in their shoes, and it's like you're living through them, and it's like, I don't know, like, it's very like i don't know crazy to think about and like i don't know but then there's also like if something bad happens to them like you know oh at least i'm not them so i don't have to like experience this but then when they ever have anything good happen to them they're just like oh i feel like them so like i'm experiencing it too blah blah but like it's kind of fucked up if you think about it because like these situations are based off of things that the author's gone through or the author's heard of or like something has caused the author to come up with the plot of this story. So like someone has gone through whatever this character is going through. And it's really difficult to think about because like some of the decisions are insane. Like, <laughs> like to sacrifice your happiness for your morals or vice versa like that's it's a really hard decision and this character's had to do it for like countless times and usually she's like very confident and she knows what she wants but like this time she doesn't because like it's so drastic because she's married to this guy and like um, like, he's, like, recently been, like, reclusive, and she's, like, trying to figure out what's wrong with him, blah, 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 and, like, um, sorry, I'm tearing up, <laughs> not because of the book, but because, like, when I lay down for a long time, like, my, or, like, even just a little bit, like, my eyes start to tear up, I don't know why they just do that, maybe they're just so big, but my, my eyes can't handle the pressure, so, like, they just, I don't know, um, I'm trying to sound smart, but I'm done, so it's not working, uh, <laughs> um, but, uh, she has husband who she's been with for, like, about a year now, and when she loves me, he loves her. <laughs> okay, right, um, we're just going to pretend that didn't happen, okay? <laughs> um, I don't know how dropping my phone turned into me like flipping it backwards, but like, sure, sure. Um, but, um, I'm trying to think, but like, she recently found out that he has a kid. And, like, he didn't tell her about the kid, and I don't even know if he knows that he has a kid, like, beforehand. Like, like, for a while now, or if he just found it out, and that's why he was acting all reclusive. But it's, like, a little bit weird, and she freaks out over it and is like, oh my god, like, he has a kid, like, holy shit. And, like, f like, literally, like, losing her shit over it, obviously. And he had the kid before her, I think, because, like, the kid's about a year old now, I think. Or maybe two. I don't know. But, like, so the kid was before her and him met. But, like, still, like, keeping that from her? Like, she's kind of upset about that, clearly, obviously. Like, who wouldn't be? And, but she doesn't confront him with it. And at first I was angry, like, how could you not confront him with it? Like, what the hell? And then, um, like, she was, like, rationalizing it. And, like, talking about how, like, um... Like, a lot of people, like, lie, and, like, sometimes it's for a good cause, and she's thinking about, because she came from, like, a poor background, and, um, like, 
just now and like he's living with him and like it's not just because he has money but also because like she loves him and she's never loved anyone like she loved him before blah 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 all this and like she's incredibly happy with him and she's like de- like debating like i don't want to confront him because i don't want to like shatter my bliss so like she's like do i pretend to live in ignorant bliss and just ignore it until he tells me or if he doesn't tell me then just continue to ignore it or do i confront him about it and shatter our little happy lives and in the beginning when i first started this video like my answer was really muddled and i couldn't figure it out but now that i'm thinking about it more i would tell him because like i mean i would confront him and like ask him not like be demanding and like angry about it i would wait until the next day when i cooled down but like i would still confront him about it because like i need i would need to know if like he knew before we were married or after and like he needs to tell me and like we could not handle the relationship if like that was head hanging hanging heavy between us and like if like um i don't know just like you can't have like a good relationship if you're just like always like holding one lie even if it's just one lie it's still really heavy and like you have the fear of continuing lies like more lies he's gonna like add on or you're gonna add on to the relationship so like it's better to get it over with and like confront him early than like later on you know so yeah i would tell him but i do understand like her fear of like getting rid of like the bliss because confronting like a harsh truth is gonna like shatter their little blissful happy lives but would you prefer to have the truth and get rid of that unhealthy relationship if it is unhealthy or fixing what little unhealthiness there is in the relationship and making it better um rather than pretending to be as happy as you would be if you didn't know and like not living like the best life you could you know so like i would tell him but like i understand like the fear of like wanting to like stay in your little happy bubble because i do the same thing except mine's a little bit more drastic where instead of like being quiet i literally just like seclude myself from everyone but i mean it's one and the same like it's still hard decisions you know um i don't know just this book has me thinking a lot and at first this book like i was thinking this author's really talented and they like finished the book prematurely uh because like by the 14th chapter this couple was already married, and, like, they seemed happy, and, like, they so loved each other, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, this book is over. Like, what? And I was really confused, because I was like, this can't be over. Like, it's only the 14th chapter, and it says that there's, like, 29 chapters. And I was really confused. I was like, is the rest of this just going to be fluff? Like, meaningless? But it's actually not. Like, it's actually really, like, meaningful, because it's not just about... The author's not making it just about... The happily ever after it's making it after the happily ever after and like the harsh like things that happen in like marriage like after happily ever after and it's like very jarring but at the same time it's very refreshing because most books especially in wattpad because wattpad the books that i'm reading on this app is like very uh fairy tale like and like most of their books are romantic and it's very hard to find not romantic books so like and even when you do it's still kind of like fairy tale-esque which i mean you're kind of asking for because you're reading but still i kind of do like it when there's like realness and this book has that and it was really confusing because in the beginning i thought it was going to be one of those like cheesy fairy tale books yet again but it wasn't and it continued and it's like showing harsh realities of like just not just marital life but like life in general and like dealing with the baggage of your partner and everything and like it's crazy but also refreshing so like i like it but like it's 
gives you a lot to think about and like reflect on which i also really like so this looks pretty good um <laughs> yeah that's another thing i think um i'm like wiser than like well i mean like emotionally and like mentally i think i'm wiser than a lot of kids not like academically or like street smarts or like anything that like society deems important but I think like emotionally and like mentally I'm like like wiser than other kids because like I've been through a lot and like know how to cope with a lot more than the average 17 year old and I've also like read through so many people's lives and like people like deem like reading especially fictional reading like as like not important and not educational like my dad always gets mad at me whenever I'm reading because he says it's a waste of time and it doesn't educate me and I'm just like yes it does like reading through these other people's lives like it's not just characters like these characters aren't just like made out of thin air like they're made from the author and a part of the author is in the story so like you're learning like what the authors learned through their life and they're putting it in their book and so in like foresight like you're getting like some of the author's wisdom and like if you read a lot like you're getting like tons of different people's wisdom and like it's like invigorating and like it's amazing like I love it and yeah like I don't know like <laughs> if that makes sense but I love reading because of that and like I just kind of feel like um it's nice to like read other people's like stories and like have their like memories and like like life like lessons like expressed and read by you and like learned and like stuff because like if not by you then who like you know like books can only be shared if they're read like so why not read Plus, like, people who don't read are so ignorant and, like, sheltered and, like, just, like, I don't know. People who don't read are kind of boring, in my opinion. Because <laughs> they're just so sheltered and they, like, they only know their life. They don't know anybody else's lives. They don't like, know anyone else's wisdom. They don't know anything. Like, they're just so boring, like, in my opinion. But that's just me. Like, I just... I just love reading and I love books in general and I love stories and like it's part of the reason why I want to be a like an editor or like a publisher because like I just think this is like a, such a fun career mm, and I don't know if I could do it it's so competitive I'm not a competitive person I'm the type of person who like stands up for others but not very much themselves and like like when someone hurts me I kind of like make excuses for them and I've gotten much better but I'm still kind of a little bit like that and like it's the perfect environment for people to walk all over me and like I'm worried about that so like I don't want to go into that environment but at the same time like it's what I crave like it just fits me so well and I almost just want to say to the hell with it because like my fears can't control me but at the same time like my fears are like hold on hold on think rationally and I'm just like but 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 but, but, but I want it so bad and um like it's just like frustrating having to fight with my fears because it's something that I want and I know I want it but everyone puts doubts in my head like my uncle like has told me before like it's not like the most like dependable job like it's not like a good job like it doesn't make you good money and I'm just like I've told him before like I don't care about the money but then he's also like okay but then do you not care about your future because if you don't have enough money then you don't have your future and I'm just kind of like oh shit if you put it that way fuck like um and then like I have to think about the financial situation and then also like 
like the competitiveness can I handle it like that's my fear and like the disappointment like I don't know if I could handle the disappointment if I like try and pursue my dream and then give up and and then I don't know. I just have like this big fear of becoming a disappointment to people that I love, which is frustrating because I feel like I let them walk all over me and like tell me what the fuck to do, even if I don't agree with them because I think that they're right because I love them and like it's just frustrating. Anyways, I'm just gonna stop talking because I need to get back to reading. Um. But then also I have to do my chores and homework. And yeah, that's all I have to do.